Hey ya! We're Cozy and Micho, and this is our catamaran Ocean Lady. We were so lucky to purchase Ocean Lady for only 40k. We feel like we're dreaming. Thanks for coming aboard and joining us on our journey. If we can do it, so can you. Dreams can come true. Thanks for watching. Fish on! This is a good sign of being in the Dampy Archipelago. Bring it in, baby. Is it? Yep. Easy keeper. Get another one, Cozzy. Is it? Is it? Another fish. Ocean Lady's on fire today. Two fishes. Here's another sunset. Hope this one's not too boring for you. We're at Enderby Island, which is just off of Dampier. It's stunning like everywhere else we've been. It's just freaking stunning. <laughs> it's pretty nice here. I don't, I don't mind it too, really. Yeah. Well, we got a delicious taco bowl for lunch. Woohoo! We are lucky to be on anchor today. Coming over for a visit. They actually own the same boat as ours at M33, and it'd be really cool for them to come aboard and have a look at our boat and just let us know what they do differently. So that's pretty cool. We're at Dampier Archipelago Islands, and we were going to explore today, but we won't be exploring right this second. We'll wait until this wind drops, and then we'll relocate. Apparently, there's a lot of Aboriginal art on the rocks around here, so. That's our goal for the Dampier Archipelagos is to find the Aboriginal art and take some footage of it for you. So we will see. We'll do what we can. Ben and Jenny. You look like an expert on the front there. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, what a contrast. Yesterday morning it was like blowing 30 knots and today it's like a almost a glass off it's just stunning Hello. good morning well, good morning to you what a beautiful day isn't it yes we're off to whaler's bay today i don't know what the name of the island is but i think it's called whaler's bay and it's um we want to have, have a look at the thing you know, wow. so we've just left departed from down here in wherever bay we were at Conzink bay and we're heading to whaler's bay on I don't know what that island's called, but it's called something. That's cool. Yeah. What are the winds doing today? Uh, it's just a little bit of northerlies, light northerlies during the day, and then it's going to swing around to the west overnight. But it's not going to be hugely strong, but I might get a bit uncomfortable in the morning if we stay there, so we'll see. 
Stunning day though, right? Absolutely ridiculously glassy. Compared to yesterday, which is 25 knot winds and freaking crazy. Yeah. Oh, besides the fact that there's a massive industrial town here, it's actually really beautiful. I don't know if Micho filmed that algal bloom that was in the water yesterday, but we researched it a little bit and it's just uh, a result of the water warming up. Just says don't get in contact with your body, so we'll just have to be careful of where we swim. This is Whalers Bay. I'm just going to relocate um, so we can find an anchorage for overnight, which is just over there. Uh, explore this without having to relocate later. The winds are going to change. Uh, clearly a popular beach. There is a lot of boats here. But we figured that all be gone by five. So hopefully we'll have this little cove to ourselves. We're going over there. And just like that, there's no boats left in the bay. It's just us. There was about 20 when we got here, and now there's just us. Woohoo! Oh, look how across the Aboriginal Arts. Wow, I wonder how long that's been there for. Whew. This hill is quite steep. Good morning. It's pretty warm though, it's already warm. Uh, but this is just a little touch of paradise. Give it a bit of stick, Ben. got a night market on tonight so it's really misty and um, foggy here which is weird yeah. you can see it in the background we are both all good fireworks on tonight too apparently how oh, cool so we picked a good time to get back to Dampier catch up with a couple of friends we haven't seen for a bit Woo, party time yeah. for that around here and apparently there's loads so we're hoping we can find some to show you it's been one of our tick list items Mitch has been really keen to see some more so let's see how we go 
our first look see at a a rock art, yes. original rock art. Oh, Any tiny one. This is yeah, that's a good one. Not too bad. There's Micho over there. You can hardly see him. It's a teeny tiny dot. it's definitely a bit of an effort <laughs> to climb up these rocks you certainly have to watch where you're stepping especially someone that's vertically challenged like me <laughs> it's pretty uh <sighs> pretty dodgy but i just wouldn't mind getting to the top just seeing if there's anything up the top there. I think that'd be cool. There's a lot of rocks here. That's the view. Ow. Bleeding. Yeah, the spin effects are the very, very sharp and spiky things. And there's not many places to walk except here. Ow! Sharp! Um, and they're everywhere and that's all there is and then you've got rocks but rocks are easy. Spin effects not so easy. That's a desert step please. Pretty Australian flower. It's one right there too. <laughs> you see? Yeah there's one just there too. Yeah. If we go that way, I suppose we can't because there's. Yeah. 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 Really unbelievable the efforts they went to to actually do this sort of art. Must have been really passionate about it, or they're telling the story. Um, this rock is really hard, and to try and scratch anything into it is quite difficult. They must have had some sort of special rock, sharpened rock. And not only that, is this is a very precarious position. I mean, they would have spent hours on this little rock here, which it's a bit scary doing this massive piece of art here, which is pretty spectacular. This one looks like a peacock of some sort, maybe. Some sort of bird. That's pretty impressive. Or stingray. This is worth taking a breath. Deep breath. And just view. Well I'm exhausted, I don't know about you Cosy, but wow, that was a long climb. So we climbed, I don't know if you can see, all the way back up, back up there anyway, those hills. we went all the way to the top of those rocks. And it doesn't look so high, but it is a long, long way up there. And we saw literally hundreds of absolutely ancient Aboriginal rock art. Anything from, from uh, very small to huge and Hardly legible to really obvious ones. Uh, they, they look so so old. Uh, it was really really quite amazing. But we're exhausted, so we're going to try and find our way back to the boat. The boat is now completely high and dry, and it looks like it's about a two kilometre walk back to the boat. Yep. What was your favourite? Oh, I don't know. There were so many of them. There's some. There's some really really good kangaroo ones that were really big. I really um, like that stingray that we just saw at the end there. That yeah, was cool. very nice. Um, I only saw one human figure. He looked like, a, he looked like an alien. It was really, really odd and it looked so, it looked so, so ancient. But, uh, there must be literally tens of millions of pieces of water. It's been a fun afternoon. It has, sorry, but very, very fun and very hot. And I look forward to going back out. Acting like goats. Yeah, yeah. Victory. <laughs> we'll come back out in the morning and do it all again. Cheers.
What is that, Metro? That is a wild one. Get out. What a workhorse. It's driving me home. That's where we're going. Still got a bit of a way. Ah, hard work. We found a boat, look at that. Someone's abandoned a boat on the beach. Well, we found a little river. <laughs> oh, Mitchell's just throwing the boat up. I've got two apologies. One is the boat's on a bit of a slant, so uh, we're on the hard, so it actually pitches forward. And we've got a whole heap of new friends, which are the resident Dampier flies. They love us and they've been hanging out with us all day. We've res resorted to calling them our kids. So our kids are hanging out, uh, they're eating all our food as usual. <laughs> Tonight I'm making pancit. Pancit's a traditional Filipino dish with noodles, chicken, and uh, some vegetables. So I hope you enjoy it. And this one's for you, Peter. And pancit is a traditional Filipino dish. I was born in the Philippines. My parents were there as missionaries for 13 years. And pancit is one of the foods that I grew up on. Quite delicious. It's got noodles, chicken, carrots, onion, all sorts of good stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. First impressions, Mitchell. Mmm, <laughs> oh, good. Even with all our kids hanging around mm. watching you. What's this one? Yeah. Mm. Very nice. So if you like noodles and you like chicken, then give Pansi a go. It's actually really healthy and quite delicious. And if you want, at the end, you just put on a little bit of chili sauce, which is what we're going to do now. But enjoy. It's what we're climbing today. Doesn't look like it's very high, but when you get up there, I'm sure it's pretty nice. Yeah, and it's so windy. Yes, up to 25 knots, it's uh, pretty full on. And you just have to have two hands available at all times. One to swat the flies <laughs> and one to keep your balance. The Sailing Ocean Life crew respectfully acknowledge the past and present traditional owners of this island, the Wajuk Noongar people. It's a privilege for us to be exploring the Wajuk Noongar country and we are thankful to the traditional owners. Marujiga, meaning hip bone sticking out, in the Naluma Yabarara language, refers to the Marujiga land here in the Dambia archipelago, which formed the stunning group of 42 islands surrounding the Pilbara towns of Dampier and Karatha in Western Australia. But the 42 islands known as the Dampier archipelagos weren't always islands. When the Aboriginal people first occupied this unsympathetic landscape over 30,000 years ago, they were the tops of volcanic mountains, 100 kilometres inland, with water levels over 100 metres lower than present day. It must have been an impressive mountain range back then, offering tree shaded areas and pools of water that probably welcomed Aborigine visitors from the surrounding plains. No one knows when people first started scraping and carving designs into the rocks here, but archaeologists estimate that some of the symbols were etched over 20,000 years ago. As far as the scientists can tell, the site has been visited and ornamented ever since. Today, it's estimated over 1 million petroglyphs can be seen, depicting kangaroos, stingrays and non-human-like looking forms, and is considered one of the greatest collections of rock art in the world. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It was epic.